Well, if there's a dime. Oh, Sam's got a new policy. The soda pop's free, but he charges you 10 cents for the use of his opener. Oh, well, in that case... <laughs> Joe, will you stop? Why is the county sleeping? Because Douglas got tired of her freeloading. Mm, I think I'll have a line. Joe, don't... I thought the countess liked it here. She does, but she's bored. There's nothing to do, nowhere to go. You mean Mr. Douglas ain't took her over to see Ben Miller's three-legged chicken? <laughs> no, sir. This ain't cold. Too bad. You got any ice? In the cooler. Where's the key? In the cooler. <laughs> Joe, you're driving me out of my mind. <laughs> Poor Grandma. Nobody ever takes her out. She just sits there day after day like a bump on a log. Maybe that's the reason they don't take her out. Who wants to go out with a woman that looks like a log bump? You've never seen her. She's very attractive. In fact, she's beautiful. More beautiful than most wealthy women. Wealthy? Yeah, she's got a big limousine and a villa in Italy and more jewelry than Mrs. Douglas. Uh, care to make a rough estimate on how much the jewelry is worth? A million dollars. Excuse me, gentlemen. I just thought of an error and I got to do it. Hey, Haney, if you're thinking of... Oh, that Haney. The minute he smells money. Yeah, I got an errand I got to do. What kind of errand? An errand of mercy. Oh, say, I'll need some surefire breath mints, a tube of black's hair slickum, and some Italian aftershave lotion. Put it in a sack and I'll pick it up later. Joe, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. For doing my civic duty, saving that poor wealthy woman from the clutches of that no-good Haney. He's a good man. Oliver, mm. Mother has most of her suitcases packed. She needs her trunk. Would you please get it out of the barn? Sure, I'd be glad to. That's what I thought you say. What did I say? That you are glad that she's leaving. I said I'd be glad to get the trunk. It's the same thing. The trunk is for leaving, and you're glad to get it. Oh, for Lisa, you act as if I'm throwing your mother out. You finally admitted it. Your mother is leaving because she hasn't got anything to do. You could have found her something else besides a three-legged like chicken. It's your mother's decision, so let's not argue any more about it. Mm.